So I was gonna do this video. Uh, one of my subscribers was wondering how I did the candy camouflage. So I found some of these. Yeah, it's the wheel wells. I'm gonna go ahead and do a sample real quick. Do one coat. It's important to let this candy dry, otherwise when you put the mirror chrome on it and peel the saran wrap off, what'll happen is it'll peel the green off too, which is cool in some some ways because you got the chrome, but then actually you got the chrome over the green. So what happens is you'll have chrome green, but then you'll have chrome, and then you'll have splotches of black. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat. Maybe put something behind it so you can see. Get that right shade that you want. This kind of makes it brighter. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and just do a third coat. It'll probably pop more with the chrome, but the white kind of lightens it up, and you can kind of see. And don't worry about mistakes. That's the beauty about this is when you got color and you're doing candy and you're doing like bowling ball camo, you know, some type of mineral effect, like the more imperfections in the color of your candy paint, it just adds to it. Like I can put fingerprints in it and do all this crazy stuff, throw dirt on it, whatever. But then when I do the candy, like it just adds the, the mirror crumb to the candy effect. It just adds more to it. So I got that. Now I'm going to do the, the dabbing with the saran wrap. I'll give that a couple minutes to dry. So in the last video when I did this on the body, I dabbed it a lot because I really wanted the colors to come through. And I backed it by a lot of chrome. A lot of mirror chrome. Okay. With the camo, I want bigger splotches. I don't want a whole bunch on there where it's almost completely covered up with just very little of the black coming through. So what I'm going to do is just wrinkle this up all crazy. Doesn't have to be perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this and lightly dab it just a few times. You can kind of see, well, maybe not because it's still transparent, but no, you can't really tell. You can see a little bit of the chrome coming through it. You got the chrome green, but you also have the chrome. And do one more little splat. And you want to experiment with it. get that look that you're looking for. So that's the side I'm painting. That's the outside. So now what I'm gonna do is just hit it with black. I usually just use regular, just any old spray can black because this paint, the RC paint, is already stuck to the plastic. So when I go back over with any other kind of spray can, it's not gonna flake off. There you have it. 
Also, you can use your blow dryer in between coats to speed it up. Easy peasy. And that's what your end result would be right there. You can come up with different designs, you know, wrinkle your saran wrap different. I mean, honestly, if you look at all the candy paint jobs that I've done, they all have different designs and patterns because it all depends on how you wrinkle it. And if you twist in the middle of like dabbing it, you know, if you just lightly dab it, if you kind of push down harder, you know, without completely flattening it out, like you'll get different designs and different patterns. And you can do that all the way throughout the RC body. You know, you do it here, wrinkle it up different, dab it in a different spot, wrinkle it up, and just keep going through it. And you'll get different patterns. Like, I can do this exactly the same way on another one. And it'll look totally different than that one, even though I did it the same way. You just wrinkle it different, though. All right, so I got three coats. Now I'm gonna wrinkle this up different. And there's no wrong way to do this. As long as you got it wrinkled up and you got gaps and creases and wrinkles, like the more the better. black all right so there's the first one and there's the second one and it's not exactly camo but it still looks cool just to give you an idea I don't know maybe do bigger splots you can tell right there I kind of smeared it like here I just dabbed it but then here I did I dabbed it and I kind of twisted it and it kind of smeared it which just adds to the effect I did a little smear right in there but yeah that's that's your end result all right, well, uh, that's the end of this video. Uh, like, subscribe, tell me what y'all think in the comments. And uh, that's that.